ready for school can be a headache in itself, but a new problem is making things even more difficult for parents than usual. ABC Fox Montana's Melinda Zosh joins us live in the studio with the details. Melinda? Taylor, the problem is a school bus driver shortage, and believe it or not, it's not isolated to Great Falls. Ads like this one hanging on school buses all over the Electric City. It's all part of an effort to get kids to school safely and on time. It's the on time part that's wreaking havoc across Great Falls. We are currently experiencing a shortage of bus drivers. Uh, this has become a nationwide issue in the last couple of years. Right now, Great Falls Public Schools has launched an aggressive ad campaign to recruit school bus drivers. They've come as far as reaching out to local job services and even Malmstrom Air Force Base. And Martin wants parents to know. Transporting their student uh, safely is a priority with us and that we're going to continue to run all of our routes the best way that we can. GFPS has worked with Big Sky bus lines for the past 34 years. However, in the past four years, there's been fewer drivers getting on board. We're doing everything that we can to make sure that we have drivers uh, in a bus that are qualified. With the shortage of drivers, some are taking on extra routes in order to get all students to school. As a result, Big Sky Bus Mechanics and other workers are filling in until about 10 more employees are hired. GFPS says keeping drivers hired is also an issue. Well, we've had some bus drivers that have retired. We've also had bus drivers who've moved on to full-time positions elsewhere. And um, we're competing with industries that are able to pay higher wages for CP or CDL drivers. Now, it can take up to a month from start to finish for a driver to pass all requirements to become a bus operator. This includes getting a commercial driver's license, passing a Department of Transportation, physical and drivers must also know how to perform first aid and CPR. Now Big Sky expects to hire more drivers by November but in the meantime Stucker is asking parents for a little patience. Now Linnea Martin says that the GFPS has put together a task force as a way to help fix the school bus shortage. She says this group is expected to present a full report to the school board coming up in November. Reporting live in the studio Melinda Zosh, ABC Fox, Montana News. Taylor back to you.